So now I will explain you about the statement sums in this video. So the question is a box can hold seven pens. How many pens are there in four boxes? So as I have explained in the previous video that first of all you need to understand the question and then you have to frame a proper statement. So a box can hold seven pens. It means that there are seven pens in a box. So number of pens one box can hold that is seven. How many boxes are there? Four. So number of boxes that is four. So the question is how many pens four boxes can hold? Therefore you know that you have to write therefore like this. So number of pens four boxes can hold that is 7 multiplied by 4 that is 28. We have 7 pens in one box and there are 4 boxes that is why we will multiply 7 into 4 that is 28. And I have already told you earlier that first of all before solving or before writing you have to make the working column like this. You have to write working and show the working here. Please don't do the working in this means this side. Next question is a book contains 256 pages. Each page has 35 lines. How many lines are there in the book? So the question says that in a book there are 256 pages and in one page there are 35 lines. So first statement will be number of lines in one page that is 35. Number of, uh, number of pages in the book 256. Then we come to the working side 256 multiplied by 35. I have already explained first of all you will multiply by 5. When you multiply 256 by 5 you will get 1280. Now you have to multiply by 3. So 3 is in tens place. First of all we will write 0 here. Then when you multiply 256 with 3 you will get 768 and we have already given a 0 here. Now to get the final result or to get the product of this number, we add these two numbers. When we add these two numbers, we will get 8960. So you are asked how many lines are there in that book. Total number of lines that is 8960. Uh, so, in this way you will get many questions like uh, car travelled 50 km in 1 hour, how much distance will it cover in 2 hours. So, the statement that you are going to write will be distance covered in 1 hour, then total, uh, number, of, uh, total number of hours and then total distance covered in 5 hours or 6 hours, whatever is the question and then you will multiply. Now let us move on to this part. In this I will tell you that without actual calculation, uh, use, uh, how can you fill up these blanks without actual calculation? You already know that even if we change the factor, order of the factor, the result is the same. Like when we write 2 into 5 or 5 into 2, the result is 10. In the same way, when we write 250 multiplied by dash, a blank is here and here it is 175, then again one blank is there. So what to do? This side 175 is missing and this side 215 is missing. So without actual calculation, we can easily fill up these blanks. Now here when you, uh, you can see 3341 multiplied by dash is equals to 3341. So in the properties of 
multiplication, we already learned that when we multiply a number by 1, then we get the product as the number itself. And here the product is same. It means that it is multiplied by 1. This question, a blank is there and when it is multiplied by zeros, the result will be 0. So here you can put any number. It doesn't show that you have to write a particular number. You can put 5, 10, 15, 2000, any number you put. Because when we multiply a number by 0, the result is 0. It's not 721, it is 0. Next one, 84 multiplied by 100. So we have already seen that when we have to multiply such numbers, so simply we will write 84 and we will add two zeros. Next question, the same thing that when we there is a blank multiplied by 621 is equals to 175 and again a blank is there. So this side 175 is missing and here 621 is missing. So I hope you can solve all the questions given in your book as well as in your worksheet and it will be very easy for you to proceed with the questions and to solve the questions. Hope you enjoyed the class. Stay safe and be happy. Thank you.